Good afternoon, Josie here with Alana Wellness. Welcome. I hope you were well today. It's a beautiful Friday here in Delaware. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk a little bit about distance Reiki and follow it up with a distance Reiki share for about five minutes. So what is distance Reiki? Well, we all know that Reiki is universal life force energy that is innate in all life and that it can be used at our disposal to promote self-healing and help us get in touch with our inner world and our, our optimal well-being. So this can be done with hands-on or just by intent of asking Reiki to flow and, and heal me where I need healing and release whatever I need to release. Um, it can also be done as a practitioner. I've worked on many other people <laughs> and they found different types of relief through hands-on or hands above healing. And normally what we say is that we are here to help promote your self-healing so that when you are in need of whatever type of healing is of interest to you, that you can either come to someone to help you get in touch with those feelings and those um, healing centers, or you can do it on yourself if you're a Reiki practitioner, or you don't have to be a Reiki practitioner to practice uh, hands-on healing. It is universal life force energy, and we all have it. But this is one discipline that has been taught in Japan since the early 20th century. And it is very effective for those who believe and set their intent and are willing to accept. Okay, so that being said, distance healing, when we look at energy, we all have energy, as I just mentioned, and that the whole universe and beyond is energy so when we go into our private inner world we can become one with this energy and when someone else is wanting distance reiki energy from a practitioner they can meet up online or on telephone or they can even just set a time and a place you know, to have this distance Reiki energy exchange, the energy practitioner, the Reiki practitioner, holds space for life force energy to flow through. And in space, time, there is no time and space when you're in the spirit realm. So you don't have to be in the same room with someone to give Reiki. You just have to both agree to send and receive give and receive. So that's basically what it is. Um, so as I said, intent is a major portion of it. When you are on the receiving end, you have to be willing to accept and set your intent to receive and allow Reiki to help you heal yourself. So with that in mind, I would like to do a little session with you all and have you sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and get relaxed and set your intent. What is it you want to receive from Reiki today? And I will set my intent to share Reiki with whomever is open and receptive and wanting to heal whatever. So I will do this now. I go in Gasho. That's some people call it the Namaste prayer position, whichever is best for you. And I will set my intention and send for whomever to receive.
Namaste.